Hello, my name is John Nasso. I'm the Executive Director of Catholic Charities of Fulton Montgomery Counties. Hi, and I'm Amy Cortois, Family Resource Center and Food Pantry Director at Catholic Charities of Fulton and Montgomery Counties. First, we'd like to thank the employees and the management of Amsterdam Print and Company. Over the last four years, you've helped our community raise numerous amounts of money and food for the people, the needy families of our community, and we thank you for that. The people from Amsterdam Print have been wonderful over the years. Uh, one of the things I'm asked, though, is with the economy being in such rough shape, 10% unemployment, what are our needs today versus what they were maybe a year or so ago? The food pantry um, continues to see an increasing need. Last year, there was a 20% need in 2008 over 2007. We're now seeing between 25 and 30% increase in the need. We have 736 certified families as of the last week of October, and that's about 20 families shy of what we saw last year when we finished count in January. 43% of those individuals receiving our support, support are children under the age of 18. 12% of that are senior citizens. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing a greater number of families come in. We're also seeing where families would generally use our services two to three months out of the year. Mm -hmm. The increase is now between five and six months out of the year. The positive to that is that regardless of how the economy is going, families are still giving back. Families who do access our support do, do follow through and come back and will often kind of it's, it's a pride situation, and they will come back and say, you know, you were able to provide for me last month, so I want to give back. And they make their own donations. So it, it comes full circle. Yeah, I'm glad you, and you told me this a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the two things that I think are real important for people to know is that we're serving a lot of children. Yes. And a lot of the elderly. Yes. So it's not just people who could work and do have the money for food, but just don't choose not to do it. It's right. people who just don't have it. And majority of our families are working households or their families that are on fixed yeah. income. Senior populations we're finding are living off of fixed incomes and receive between ten and sixteen dollars a month maximum for food stamps, which equals to three or four gallons of milk. So they are coming in there, you know, accepting our support, spending some time here. We're also finding that when families come in, we take the extra time when they're certifying to find out what their needs are because we want to make sure that their needs are being met outside of the community. So we do serve a greater purpose than just mm -hmm. to provide them food on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. We're helping to keep them self-sufficient and get back out into the community. Yeah, and I like what you said earlier. You just told me this two weeks ago that the people who we help come back at some point. Yes. They'll come back and want to do some volunteer work for the pantry or they'll have some extra food and they'll bring it back. So it comes kind of full circle. I think it's a nice story. And we've dis we've discovered in the last few months that oftentimes families will come in and we provide them nine meals. So it's three days worth of three meals of food per family. And families are often saying to us, well, I don't necessarily need that this month. Mm -hmm. So what we've assembled <clears throat> is a shopping list. It kind of gives them ownership into what they're receiving from the pantry. They're able to tell us what they will and will not use. So we're also saving tremendously there because we're not getting rid of product that would necessarily sit on somebody's shelves. And so we're able to make better use of the money that we're receiving. And keep in mind, a $1 donation is um, between $8 and $10 worth of food. And I think today we can give um, the folks at Amsterdam Print an opportunity to see what um, $4,400 purchased us, which today yeah. is just over 11,000 pounds of, of food that was delivered today. Yeah, and that's what I tell people. We uh, This is our the biggest part of the season for us as far as our food drive. Now, people need food all year long. But... When we get food, especially if we can save it and put it aside for the whole year, or if we get money, as Amy said, $1, we can purchase $8 worth of food at the food bank in Latham. So whatever we can get now, we can use throughout the year. And there's numerous agencies that have been helping us out yes. um, and year after year after year. One of the things I have talked to my cohorts throughout the area and people from media, and um, other places, they'll say, gee, John, with the economy, you must be hurting for money for, like, food pantry or something. And the wonderful story that we see is that, yeah, we have increased need in our community for food. But along with that, there's been an increased contribution. It's been really the best story. Not that we have this big need. Isn't that sad? But we have a big need, and the community is coming forward and helping us fulfill that need. It's really been a positive story, I think. And we've seen that for um, many years, especially with Amsterdam Print. I know last year mm -hmm. 
there were some some job cuts just prior to when they came That's to right. deliver, and even with those, <clears throat> people came out and we actually they donated over three thousand dollars worth of cash and several hundred thousand pounds worth of food. I know the mm -hmm. first year it was about ten thousand pounds of food and we couldn't fit it in the door. There was a yeah. pallet so large, but every little bit counts, and that you know the importance is that that one dollar brings so much to us and allows us to be able to feed families throughout the year, not just during the holiday season. People often ask, what we, what do we need? Some of the things that we would really be able to use are pasta, soups, canned fruits, canned vegetables, peanut butter, cereals. Oftentimes we get very generous community members who bring us things like cakes and cookies and pie mixes, especially around the holidays, because they know that that's generally an item that families cannot splurge on. However, we encourage you to take what you are going to spend on that and give us things like pasta, the pasta sauce, because we know that they can spread that out over time. And when we're providing them things like baked items, oftentimes they aren't able to have the eggs, the milk, or the oil that they'll need to complete what it is that they're making. As you can see, there's a big need in our community to help the poor with food all year long. We serve young kids, the elderly, and most importantly, the working poor. And I'm sure, as we've seen in the last few years, the community will come through again to help us with this need. Thank you very much.